Hello and welcome to Keep Information Systems Simple, our video on count blank command inside of Microsoft O365. In our previous videos, we used the count command to count numbers. We used the count A command to count any cells that aren't blank. You can find links to these two videos in the description below. In this video, we're going to count blanks. How many cells in our range are blank? i.e. how many cells have missing data. And so we can see that we have three columns here. We have our cashier, number of items, and pre-tax total. I have blank cashier, blank items, and blank pre-tax total. And so we're gonna do three separate uh, count blank commands, count blank functions here. Uh, so we'll get started right away. We're gonna do the blank cashier. So I'm gonna say equals count blank. And you can see counts the number of cells in a specified range uh, that are blank. Counts the number of empty cells in a specified range. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to start at B2 and I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom of this data. And I can finally see that my last record is 1050. So I'm going to close my parentheses, press enter, and see that we have five cashiers. So five records in that column are blank. Now number of items, let's do the same command, equals count blank. Now I'm going to start with C2 and because we know this goes to 1050 we can auto enter that and find out that we have 25 records that are blank and the same function count blank for D2 to D1050 close our parentheses and we have 49. So the count blank command is going to count the number of cells in a range that are blank or that are empty. So the problem with this is you cannot make this dynamic. You cannot equals count blank and select an entire column because it just goes for every cell within Microsoft Excel within that sheet. So um, the count blank command you can't really make dynamic, but you can use the count blank command to help you find out where you have holes or empty cells within your data set. And obviously, empty cells can be a problem when you're trying to import or cleanse data. So this is our video on count blank function inside of Microsoft O365.